Hi everyone, happy Mindful Monday. Last week we discussed three ways that we can stop ourselves from being emotionally hijacked. So um, experiencing feelings of anxiety, thoughts rushing, maybe a lot of sadness, feeling down. Anytime that we feel that our uh, our emotions or our thoughts are racing and they're out of control uh, and they sort of, we sort of feel overwhelmed in that tornado of uh, emotions. So uh, I hope that the three tips have been working for you and that you've been using them and today I'd like to add one more to your toolkit and it is used a lot with anxiety and um, it's helpful really in any situation because it's a good way to sort of create some kind of grounding uh, where it brings us to the present. Some of you may know it, it's pretty popular in schools these days and, uh, and there's talk about it here and there, it's called mindfulness. And so basically mindfulness is just uh, being mindful of yourself and of the surroundings, of your surroundings. So um, in, in many cases, uh, it is basically just uh, really becoming aware, not just being mindful of, you know, who's around me, what are my feelings right now, what am I thinking right now, uh, what's going on in my environment, but it's also taking it one step further if your thoughts are racing and if your emotions are all over the place to uh, bring it back to the physical. So what do I mean by that? I mean um, really thinking about our five senses. So one of the most popular ways to practice mindfulness and uh, that seems to be pretty popular with um, with my clients. They all like the five senses. Uh, they use it in healthcare as well. I know nurses use it. So you would picture uh, five things. You would look around yourself and you would look at five things that you can see. You want to identify them. Five things that you can see. So we could even do it right now. Let's say you know, you've got a moment, your thoughts are surging, um, or if you just even want to practice for now so that you're ready for when those moments do come, it's five things that you can see right now. So that could be something as simple as uh, I see my father, I see my husband, I see the sky, I see a car, that sort of thing, okay? The next one is four things that I can feel. And so um, with mindfulness, you do something called a body scan where you can sort of uh, you, you can start from the top of your head to the sole of your feet and sort of work yourself down like what do what does the top of my head feel like what is what do my ears feel like um, oh I didn't notice that they feel a little bit cold maybe my nose is a little cold uh, something like that right so you're kind of using you're using the opportunity to pick up the different feelings around your body and practice that self-awareness that uh, oh, I can I can feel the seat under me I can feel the sweater against my skin on my body Okay, so the third thing is three things that you can hear. Uh, sometimes it's really quiet and you can't hear a whole lot, but if you silence yourself and silence the noise in your mind, you can pick up different noises that you wouldn't normally hear or be aware of. It could be like the slight buzzing of the, of the refrigerator uh, or maybe the, um, the flow of the air conditioner, things like that. Uh, maybe a bird is singing nearby, maybe there's music playing in the background. Maybe you can hear someone's voice. Uh, maybe you can hear my voice <laughs> soothing you in the background. All right, so two things that you can smell. So being aware of the smells around you. Again, right off bat, these things may seem like, oh, there's nothing around me. But if we really take that moment to practice that mindfulness, being present in the moment, you'll notice that you'll pick up a certain sense around you. And the last one is one thing that I can taste. Uh, what does your mouth taste like right now? Can you taste this, the saltiness of the sea air or maybe what you had for lunch or something like that? But uh, that's the five senses mindfulness technique. Uh, a quick way, there's other ways to practice mindfulness, maybe mindfulness while you're eating, uh, you know, really looking at what is what does this, uh, what does my food look like? So for an apple, for example, it's red, it's shiny, it's, it's small, you know, what does it taste like? That sort of thing and really savoring each bite so that's a quick way to sort of drown out the noise around you and focus and get focused in the moment a lot of people find that this really helps them uh, calm down cool down real quick so that they can refocus on um, what is at task and continue their day um, that's it for today look out for thoughtful thursday where i will post these four tips and until next monday happy mindful monday everyone and merry christmas